out. Now let's get back to that shocking number. Nearly half of all of us don't have enough cash on hand to cover a $400 emergency. Veronica Dagger from the Wall Street Journal is here. Let me go on a little bit about that. I know I just had a rant, but I want to repeat it, if I may. I find that a shocking number. 47% of 50,000 polled by the Federal Reserve can't get 400 bucks together. What does that tell you? It's a shocking number. It's a yeah. depressing number. It's a scary number. I think it tells us a few things. First, I think people are overextended. They're spending more than they, they bring in, so they're spending more than they make. There's also a lack of financial literacy. So those are two dynamics at play. I think another dynamic at play is the lack of wage growth. We haven't seen wage growth in this country in a meaningful way in a long time. Not to mention, there's a lot of people who are underemployed, working part-time when they wish they were working full-time. They're not working full-time because their employer may not want to bring them on because they don't want to pay for their health insurance. This so these are four dynamics at play that are influencing this Very number. important, but underlying the whole thing is Obama's economic policy. If we had growth instead of redistribution, I don't think you'd have this situation today. We need growth for sure. And I think we're seeing that uh, the stress on the middle class and the divide between rich and poor is only getting greater because of some of these issues that we're facing. Yeah, yeah, wait it's really a second, hard for the average American second. to make it. President Obama comes along and says, In income inequality, it's a big deal. I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to redistribute it from the top to the bottom. He says he's going to do that. The exact opposite has happened. The rich between this group and this group is getting wider. His policies have not worked. And, you know, and, and what the problem is, is that a lot of people are having to cobble together several jobs in order to make it work, in order to make ends meet. They're in worse shape than they were several years ago. Especially if you look at the millennials, you'll look at the younger generation. They are under a lot of stress because they've got the student loans. They are not making the wages that they should be uh, graduating from school, especially if they study something like liberal arts. They're under a lot of pressure. You look at the boomers, okay, too. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are you in agreement with me that this is a policy problem? And if we had different policies, lower taxes, less regulation, we would not be in this mess today. Would you agree with that? I, I do agree with that. And I think okay. if you look at regulation, that has a big deal, you know, because it Smaller businesses and larger businesses are afraid to hire because they don't understand the regulation. There's a lot of regulation that they shouldn't have. They're worried about tax policy. There's a lot of reluctance to hire still those high quality jobs because of some of the issues that are happening out of the government. One, that said, I think individuals have responsibility too. Oh, absolutely they do. But OK, there's one more to add to this. Also, within that survey, one third of those surveyed, one third don't go to a doctor because they can't afford it. Now, I don't think that's because of the high cost of health care. I think that's because of the huge deductibles that Obamacare has introduced. Huge deductibles. People don't have an emergency savings, so they don't have the money to spend to go to the doctor. Also, people are putting off that expense, which is only going to hurt them in the long run because you may have something serious wi uh, wrong with you, but if you keep not going to the doctor, those expenses in the long run could add up. So I think there's a lot of issues at play. People are putting these things off, and it could really come back to haunt us in the long run. Nah, there's only one issue at play. Socialism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to quote Margaret Thatcher. I've got to get this right. Oh, OK. They don't care if the poor get poorer, so long as the rich get poorer too. And I think that's exactly oh. what you've got. You're shaking yes. your head. You don't agree with me. No, I no. think it's a sad state if that's the mentality. Oh, right, Veronica. No, you can come back. <laughs> Good stuff, and we appreciate you being with Thanks us. Thanks so much. Thank you.